hello everyone welcome to my channel Whew, if today is your first time of just seeing this um, channel what we do here is all about food eating food cooking and also we share life experience life story so that it can help any one of us yes that is why we share life experience yes so welcome welcome today i have a beautiful story that i come across and i said wait a minute let me share it with my people my lovely fans yes the girl on the picture that you're seeing that's a story yes i saw it on facebook so i decided to say let me share it with my beautiful fans so that we can learn yes because every day is a bad growth there is nothing like i know too much yes we grow by the grace of god and by some life lessons we also pray that we will not be the lesson yes so that is why it's good to share and when we see something like this it's good for us to talk about it yes so guys welcome to my page and today it's all about this girl our sister that you're seeing a picture is here that's the person we are talking about. She talked about our dating life. And that is why I said this is so important because many people might be going through this. Yes. So she talked about her dating life. The first person she met, she met him through uh, the sister. So they started dating. And uh, along the line, uh, he proposed to her. And uh, during the uh, period of their being called fiance and fiance so they're noticing some character that she doesn't like guys she doesn't she's not feeling it so she was thinking of quitting but every time she brings it up the guy will throw tantrums and that got her to hold on for some time but it got to a time whereby when they they started planning for marriage and don't know how that no she cannot live with this person so she needed to walk away so she did walk away so to the extent that she told the guy that okay you know what because we're living together so he told the guy that okay i will move out of the house because i don't want life to be that difficult for you so i'll move out of the house so you take care of the house so she moved out of the house so she said later on the guy sent a message to her that um, he can no longer live in the house anymore that he's living that the guy can come back to the house so she said when she saw that message she knew that something must be going wrong so she went back to the house and discovered that the guy has packed everything from the house so she got herself together because uh she do uh, catering for a job she bake cakes and all that yes so she got herself together then she bought something new things in the house yes so she met another person and they were just like friend at first but she was feeling the guy and the guy was also feeling her and because of what happened in her first relationship you know when something happens to you that's when the cautiousness spirit dives in you start to be cautiousness yes you start to watch for every signs yes because now um you don't want to fall victim anymore so she was just looking for the signs so she had to communicate to somebody like her friend so she told her friend about this particular person and she said mm, that she's seen some signs about the person but the friend convinced her that is because she went through trauma in the first relationship and that's why she's scared to go out and we know guys this can happen to anybody when you go through a trauma that is what trauma does it affects it for you to move on you'll be suspecting everybody yes so please do not allow your first relationship to affect the relationship that is that is coming yes because it might be the relationship for you and you use that uh, what happened to you before to destroy the good relationship so many people are forbidden of that so let's go on before I give my advice so she moved, so when the friend told her that advice her she saw that it was a valid point and she moved on with the guy even though she saw the sign because you know what about this 
a, a talking we are talking about this so sometimes you communicate with people but you leave some things out yes people how would i put it sometimes uh people might not understand what you're really feeling at that moment they will just give you for what well, that is why he said the person you cannot lie to is your daughter is your lawyer yes because you have to say it as it is don't sugarcoat anything when you're telling somebody um something to encourage you for you have to tell them no matter how bitter it is you have to tell the person the truth so that they can know how to advise you how to give you advice yes so the friend told her that yes yeah, i think it's a trauma so go ahead date this person so she giving and she started dating this person and they moving together yes we talk about the moving parts they moving together and they started dating and she started noticing something different about this guy and this guy according to her description this guy was full of jealousy yes if they go out the moment any guy pay attention to her it is a problem it is a problem when they get home he will start throwing tantrum on her you know saying things hurting her feelings and all that so she keep managing him according to her she keep managing him thinking of you know and one thing that happened along the line is this when you break off with somebody everybody knows about it then that fear of you being a failure comes in creeping because now what you're trying to do without you knowing it is trying to please people trying to keep your good name yes not thinking about yourself you're thinking about people that is what trauma does to you so she said okay you know what she said okay since his brother her brother is a police a cousin is a policeman so she said okay you know what he said it's if i wish sure anything happened to me let me introduce this guy to my brother so um they had a family fortune and he told the guy about it and they went together so you know as cousin you know like your brothers your cousins you know how they play with you how they vibe with you so the guy was just like telling her oh you look you've changed you've done this you know looking good he just discovered that the guy his boyfriend was eyeballing the cousin was angry so she decided to, in her heart that oh today is the day i'll break up with him because this is too much if he can get jealous of my own cousin when he knows that nothing can happen with your cousins ah, that is too much that is the end that is what i've been thinking is true because jealousy are different sometimes in my think when your, your boyfriend is jealous of you you think that oh they love you too much okay now the cousin that means this jealousy is something else i have to break free from it that's when she knew that she has to break free from this guy so they left the party and inside the vehicle the guy said ramsey how can your cousin touch you how can your cousin do this how can your cousin do that in fact i'm tired of you i don't want you to i don't want to be with you because if i if i'm here i might do something that you that will make you to call the police so they get to the parking instinct so she was happy so she started happy because that was her intention so she started helping the guy to pack her things so that gets the guy mad because she was not begging for him to stay she was not begging and the guy got furious angry and the guy said ha ah, this and that the guy was so emotional that the guy started hitting her so she tried to run the guy pinned her down and the guy raped her so after that when the guy knew that she's going to call the police the guy told her that if you call the police i'm going to rape your family i'm going to i know your uncle's ass because you took me there i'm going to rape your family i'm going to do that because of that she got scared so she didn't call the police because she feared for her family but i'll tell you my opinion about that scenario anyway so let's just move on let's get to the end of the story then we'll just throw some some wisdom yes to it so he said because of that she didn't call police that day she managed the situation so she knew the extent that the guy can go now now because all this while the guy is just throwing tantrum not verbally verbally 
abused her but now it has happened so she now knew the extent the guy can go and the guy is very malicious as we're talking about raping the cousin sister blah 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 and all that so she got she managed the situation with wisdom so that day because of the black eye and all that the guy said that she cannot go to work so that nobody will know that she's get she's been abused so she didn't go to work she had to call the workplace to tell them something blah 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 and that was what when she got better she went back to work so things like that continue to happen and those to the extent that she even got a black eye very serious one that she has to lie because now her uh, mother wanted to see her there's nothing they can do so she had to lie to the mother that she has a, a you know something they call a polo you know those type of thing so the mother brought something for her to take not knowing what was happening to her daughter so she was thinking of how she was planning scheming on how to get out of this abusive relationship so she decided to um say okay this particular day i will get out of this relationship but she has to keep herself she need not to uh do anything that will make the guy hit her knowing that if the guy hit her she cannot go to work to do that because she planned that when she goes to work she will call the police on him that was her plan so she had to keep herself safe before that day so she took the guy to the party still even in the party she was very careful she made sure nobody noticed that she even went to another room to this that the guy even came to her and said wow what are you doing here come and enjoy the party but she was trying to place it because she knew what can happen if anybody noticed her or see anything so the guy first and said come out of this place come and enjoy the party so she later followed the guy to the bar and asked for and told the guy Bama that give me anything of your choice any of your choice just make it for me so the guy was furious the guy said how can you do you know the guy why why are you telling why are you putting your drink in his hands so the guy got furious and they, the guy was throwing tantrum in the party they even separated them so when she got home she managed that day when she got home they slept the next day she got herself the guy was so drunk that early morning she quickly crept out of the bed she went to work at work that was when she called the police and they later arrest the guy and then um, that was how she got out of the situation so what did we learn here what did we learn here first of all the first relationship yes she did when she got out of it she noticed this problem she noticed the situation time she did not consider what would people say because you know some people when they bought the dress they prepare for the pattern and everything you so because of that let me just do the marriage even though you are seeing the sign you say let me just do it let me just do it but thank god she did not allow herself to go through with the wedding she broke it off before the wedding so i applaud for her that is a good thing so as a human being when you see any signs Think about yourself. That is why we preach about self-love. Self-love. Think about yourself. Do not think, do not get worried about what people will think. People will always say, whether good or bad. It's because you, it's only when you are alive that people can talk, isn't it? When you are dead, it's another different story entirely. There is no duplicate of you somewhere that oh when something happened to me oh i will take my duplicates you know i have something to fall back to there is nothing like duplicate so you have to be selfish you have to be selfish you have to build your heart so strong you have to build your heart so solid that is why i love cora you see there are so many things i pick up from her you see the many billions of people bullying her do you know the billions and you see her still doing her thing, laughing, doing as if those things does not matter. Yes, that is how we should live. They don't count. They are not the one that created you. They are not the one that is wearing the shoe. People opinion, you have to build yourself very strong. You know when they call it in Nigeria, Udu, Granny Stone Hearts. That is how you have to build yourself. You have to build yourself. Do not listen to people. People will tell you what they know what hard they want you to live your life but it is up to you 
to live the life the way you want it yes failed marriages is better than death yes it is better you have failed marriages than death yes so that is why when you are going through these things pick sense it quickly and do not think about what you what you've done or the money involved or the invested of your years and time with this person do not think about those things because when there is life there is hope yes when there is life there is hope and god is the one that replaces our wasted years pick up your bag move move so we applaud that for that first then secondly when choosing the second partner you need to listen to your guts yes it's good to speak to people but you need to listen to your God because she saw the signs at first but she decided to give it a try because she had someone tell her a confirmation was she she she, she, she she wanted to go out with the guy not because of what the friend said she's already because we know ourselves when we want to do this we want to do things we just want somebody to be second party to just support us to say oh this is the reason why we did it yes that is the truth so she entered the relationship and another place i want to touch is the part when she said she couldn't call the police because the guy threatened to rape the cousin or to do whatever to the family that is not true that is not true sister you are just hanging there because you're thinking you are scared of people choice she was i think she was thinking she was she you know sometimes we don't know when we when we do things we don't know we are not aware you know i emotion got the better part of her she was calculating thinking what would uh, how people will feel how what people will say if i lose this particular relationship again that's what she was scared of that was the time but when she saw when the problem was too much she forgot about people i will thank god for her that she was always yes she always got there she always gets there yes she always even though it took time yes for me it will not take that much time because me, when i sense anything my dear <laughs> before you say jack <laughs> i'm out of your door and when i'm out of your door i'm that kind of person that when i'm out i don't look back i don't look back i don't look back. i don't miss you i don't think about you i just go yes that is how god built me up i go that first the first thing god did to me for me when i got born it was making me strong because he knew the things i'm gonna go through in life yes he knew if i half of the things i've been through if somebody that's why I, do, I don't pray it for my enemy i don't even pray it for my enemy to go through it they will die they will kill themselves yeah they will depress they will kill themselves they'll click right pens and kill themselves yes but god knew god knew and he gave me the heart of stone there's nothing that except i want to do something nobody and so he put the classified as stubbornness yes i'm stubborn when it comes to my life when it comes to my life i'm very very stubborn i don't listen to nobody i do things and i i don't care about anybody yes that is why first of all god build me up teach me how to be alone teach me how to love myself how to appreciate my loneliness yes god taught me that and build my mind so there is nothing you're going to tell me that will break me for what for what for what because the way god helped me to see people is different from the way people see people <laughs> that is the truth so nothing penetrates nothing can penetrate so those of that these are the things you have to um, know in the spirit of fear is limitation it limited it, limit, it limits you to to carry out some things yes the spirit of fear you know before i got married i've had many experiences of breakup 
amazing when i mean many experience of breakup with my parents because these people they always get to the stage of paying bright price getting married to me and all that so you know what the things have put my parents through and all that yes so when this marriage came if it's to some people they will think about ah i don't want people you know so many things but I, I was i did not get broken i still know my potential i know that i'm a queen you understand when i got married when i just sense the abuse not with with a, a abuse of like hitting me no you don't, you don't even need to get there <laughs> no not me no 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 my father did not lay hands on me when i was growing up that was the standard i put my father did not lay hands on me so there's no man born on this earth that can lay hands on me that was the standard i said right from time worse there are some ways that are abusive when somebody begins to use waste on you, you know, taking your dignity, you know, making you comfortable, lost your peace in your own home, that you're supposed to be happy. When you are married, you're supposed to be excited. When your husband is coming back from work, you're supposed to be happy. Not that your husband is coming back from work, you are, oh my God, how wish he can just be there. That was That is a sign. Not that it has, it has gone bad. That was my, that was my story. I didn't want him to come home because I, I don't, I, I, I lost love for him. Yes, because of how he was behaving, not with abusive ways, the way he had, you know, how, you know, I was frustrated. I did not allow it to last, our marriage did not last up to a month, up to a month. Yes. Yes. And this is somebody that went to Nigeria, all of that went to Nigeria. You know what it means? Pay trans a a airplane. Go to Nigeria, pay my price, price to all the needful. And that's it. I did not look at what people will say. <clears throat> because I love my life. I love myself. The reason I'm telling you this story is that don't let fear limit you. That is why Bible says cast fear. He has not given us a spirit of fear but boldness. Know your words. Love yourself. Do not think about people. Yes. You say if you don't so see it, that's what I and try again, try again. You get that one person that will speak your language, that will speak the kind of love, that will speak what you want. Yes, people will say a lot of things and say, Oh, there is no mother for me. There is man in this country, in this UK, that is a hey, man is difficult. I got it plenty, I'm many paid. Yes, it's all about how you see yourself, how you carry yourself. How you see things. Yes. That is what matters. Don't be scared to fear. Fear is growth. Mm. Yes. Failure is growth. That is why they say experience is the best. He makes you grow wise. Yes. Don't be fear. Don't be scared of people. Then if they went, went my whole happened, it did not last up to a month. The people, the talking stop, isn't it? But today I'm alive. I'm free. I have peace. He is free too. He has peace. Whatever. So I'm not gonna say. I'm not here to talk about battle in him. All my I pray for them to today. I don't say, oh, I'm bitter. No, I'm not bitter. It's just that he lost something precious. Yeah. So. Something precious is not for everyone, guys. So when someone says they are not doing anymore, you have to let them go. You have to let them go and be bold to do it. And don't allow fear to limit you. Yes. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the story. And please leave your comments below. God bless you as you do so. Bye.